Welcome back everyone! And it's definitely time for us to restore and to recover after a challenging week of work. So let's begin today on our seated position and let's begin with a gentle yoga stretches. So go ahead and extend those legs and reach up over your head with me. Inhalation through the nose and the next exhalation. Send your one hand all the way behind your back and open up the chest. Take a big breath. Find a big smile within your body and all the way, let's switch the sides. Take your hand, plant it really nicely and open up to the other direction. Bend your elbow, continue to hold it with me, just a breath or two and bring those both arms up overhead one more time. And this time, guys, we will go and fold forward for the gentle forward fold. You might not be able to reach your feet then you simply will put your hands along your legs. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let's set an intention not to judge ourselves and just enjoy this practice. Just appreciate what our body can do for us. Take a deep breath and rise up a little bit higher, guys, just a little bit higher. Inhalation and then exhalation, pull forward back again one more time. And this time we will try to hold it a little bit longer. Inhalation, preparation, exhalation, let the tension go away from each and every cell of your body. Let's slowly rise up one more time. And this time reach your both arms, guys, behind your sit bones, behind your back. Plant them nicely and open up through the ribcage. Take a deep Feel good inhalation and slow paced exhalation so the body and the mind can start to relax. Let's return back, arms over your head and on exhalation guys, drive only one hand towards your feet or somewhere where you can reach. And for my beginners, we can definitely put the hand on the side of the body and for intermediate and advanced, let's go ahead and open up a little bit deeper here. Take a deep breath. And one more, guys. Let's slowly cross over our hands, our wrists, and fold forward one more time. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation. Simply let it go. And let's rise up. And we'll do exactly the same on the other side. For the beginners, feel free to put your hand right on that waistline to avoid tension on the neck. And for intermediate and advanced, we will open a little bit more. Make sure that you start that little opening in your hips, guys. Then lower back, then rib cage, and let's cross over this extended arm all the way up front and fold forward one more time. Inhalation, exhalation, fantastic. Let's take it slowly back. And we will go ahead and bring our one knee. Bend this. So if this position is not really comfortable, you have an option to open it or simply to bring this foot all the way up front. So we have a lot of options to do it. If this position is, is relatively comfortable, then stay right here with me. Go ahead and reach those arms and bring those arms up front or the place where you can find support for your body. Make sure you sit nice and equal on both sit bones and we slide forward, of course, through the hip flexor. Let's close our eyes again one more time. In through the nose, inhalation, again, preparation, observation, looking inside, exhalation. Let the tension go. Tension doesn't serve us. At any good way, tension invites just more tension. So we're letting it go. Very nice. Well, let's slowly return back, guys. And we will draw this extended leg towards the front. We're not going to bring it all the way close to the seat bones. We're just going to bring close enough so we can take the hands all the way behind and open up and expand our chest one more time. Take a deep breath, in through the nose, out through the nose, 
My beginners, you feel free to stay just right there in my intermediate and advanced. Just slide that foot a little bit under and we will rise up hips off the floor. Take another good quality inhalation. In exhalation, let all that tension go, guys. Let's slowly return back on the floor and we will switch our legs. So go ahead and take this other leg all the way behind or the way you can sustain this asana. So you can move the foot up front just like I showed you. Let's make sure that we sit in equally on both seated bones for you just. That will help you to open up a little bit even deeper through the hip flexor. And reach up, let's fold forward. So hands over the foot or on the floor, whatever you can reach. But I need you to find some support, whether it is blocks, floor, your leg. And from here, we lengthen and we're always extending that back. Take a deep breath. And stay right here, guys, with me. And we will slowly, on next exhalation, start your turn back. And go ahead and slide your foot just enough for you to lift your hips off the ground. Let's stretch the arms, shoulders, and chest first. Reach chest up. Let the tension go. And for my beginners, you can just stay right there, intermediate and advanced. Slide that ankle on your bent knee slightly under and lift the hips, guys, off the floor. Make sure it's a comfortable position for your wrist, for your wrinkles, for your shoulders. Very good. Let's slowly return it back. And we will go ahead and take both feet on the floor. Reach all the way up, guys, with me. And circle those arms behind. We're gonna go for that tabletop, upward tabletop. We're not gonna hold it long, just enough to stretch our arms and shoulders. In through that nose, and out through your nose. Sit back and slowly give yourself a good nurturing hug. Connecting with ourselves is really important. Take a breath or two, and we will do one more. Tabletop all the way, take it back. Lift the hips into your reverse tabletop. Make sure that your wrist and ankles feel good doing this reverse tabletop. Take a deep breath. Bring more attention to your shoulders. And we're going to give a hug our legs one more time. My beginners, just do it the same way. Continue to bend your knees in my intermediate and advanced. You might try, extend those legs. Find a little bit more balance. And continue to dive into your hugs. Very nice. Let's slowly, guys, bring our both feet a little bit wider. A little bit wider. And come on down, take your time, slowly plant your body on your mat, take those arms all the way on the side, and we will begin our stretches on the floor with a little windshield, side to side, very easy, very gentle movement. Take a few more like this, that's it. And then stop right in the center. We're gonna go for the wide legged like bridge with arms on the side. If it feels too much on your neck or back, bring your arms along your body. Continue to press your heels into the floor and express through the heart, guys. Maybe even close your eyes. And again, let every single bit of the tension leave your body. Relaxation invites more relaxation, tension invites more tension. So go ahead and bring your both legs up towards the ceiling. We will put our right above the left for your little eagle legs and gently move those legs on the right. So again, if your right leg above your left 
you will move your legs on the right. Let's do our best to face opposite direction. This is an excellent asana, very supportive one, very steady, supine, eagle legs behind. Great for the back, great for the hips, great for the knees, and you don't have to worry about your balance now. Let's slowly return it back in and do it. Take your legs up and put your other leg. So now, Tim, if your left leg above your right, then you're going to bring your legs on the left side this time. So you might bring them first and then flow all the way opposite direction from your knees. There is a way to support your knees. You can put pillow underneath or you can put the blocks underneath. Take a deep breath and maybe even close your eyes. We are not in a hurry. We're just doing a gentle, easy stretches today. Nurture our body, heal our body and give the body some rest. The rest day doesn't have to be on a couch, we still can move and do fun stuff, but we need to give our body a little bit break from the high impact exercises. Go ahead and take your both legs up and just straddle them for me. Take it all the way. Feels so good. Inhalation, in exhalation, legs all the way back. So let's dive to the halasana. If you know not practicing your halasana yet, you can keep your feet up towards the ceiling just like this, or try to put your, four, your knees on your forehead up here as a transition to the next step. If you practice in halasana, then go ahead and bring your feet behind. Maybe you will put extra support, a couple pillows, stack of pillows, if your feet almost there or your blocks. Take a deep breath, or maybe you have a sofa over there behind. We always trying and doing a little bit more, getting out of our comfort zone. Make sure your neck is not feeling anything here because the weight in between your shoulder blades and shoulders. We will make a slow, gentle transition to our seated position in the bound angle. So take your time right up here. Very good, help yourself with those arms. If you have to, to get up, take your hands on the floor, press your both feet one into another, and let's bring the hips up. Take a deep breath, your arms, your inner thighs, all the way. Inhalation, exhalation, slowly return back. We will dive to the seated, half spinal twist and a bound angle. So all you have to do is to take your hand across and give your body a gentle rotation. Look behind the shoulder and slowly return back. Look behind another shoulder. Perfect. Give it a few seconds, breath or two. Come on back into the center and slowly make your transfer guys to your tabletop, regular tabletop. We will continue today with the hip circles. So we will begin just circling the hips right up here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhalation and exhalation. Slowly start to expand the circles, make them a little bit wider, cover a lot of space. Your wrist, your elbows, your shoulders, it's nice and soft. And we're ready to reverse the hip circles all the way. Just the good quality rotations, guys. Don't be shy to include a little bit neck movement, head, elbows, shoulders, just feel free doing those circles. That's the most important thing right now. And let's stop right here. Give me a couple cat and cows up here. Just try to explore 
I don't want you just follow the directions. I want you guys to listen to your body. If your body asking you to stop at some point and maybe do some different straight for a while, please do. If your body asking you to go to your child pose, please do. I want you to feel present, feel here, feel now, in connection with your mind, body, and yourself. One more. Very good. We're gonna go here and take the one leg up, your right leg up, guys. Take a deep breath and slowly pull it right across your left, just like this. We'll continue with the cat and cow in this unusual crease cross like this position to open our lower back even more. And just a breath or two. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes. And we do our best to extend our legs in the downward facing dog. Your feet might not be as wide. It doesn't matter. And if your heel's not on the floor, that's all right as well. Just straighten Achilles and hamstrings. And then we will slowly return back on the floor and undo those legs. Are we ready to take the other leg up, lengthen and straighten, and put it behind. So left behind the right right now. We do a few more cat and cows. Just genuinely expand and let all the tension melt away while you're moving. Let's do one more and then we will extend into our downward facing dog one more time. That's it. And observe the differences between right and left sides. All the way, stay on your tippy toes. Try to press your heels into the floor. Watch your back, guys. Take it all the way back, guys, on the floor. Undo those legs. And we're ready for the gentle flow of the camel pose or strasana today. We do a few variations, then we bind the arms into the eagle pose. We already did our legs. Let's reach all the way in just a simple back bend, just a simple one. We worked again so hard the entire week. Our body needs some good gentle stretches. Hips forward and try to look up, guys, and rotate your chest up towards the ceiling. Come on back. And we do the same from the other side. Reach up, take your hand behind, hips forward, expand, express, that's it. Let's take it back and before we will take on a couple more back bends, let's compensate it in our downward facing dog, which feels always so good. If it doesn't it coming, guys, then we're facing dog is a true asana for relaxation. Works every single muscle in our body. Take it back on the floor. And we will be ready for our eagle arm. So let's take the right arm forward. Put your left inside. Find your eagle arms. It might not be perfect, but that's okay. What I want you to do, I want you to take your elbows, guys, slightly higher, shoulders slightly lower, and elbows, team, away from the chest. So hold it up here for the few extra breaths with me. And then we will dive for the gentle back bend. Just a gentle one. It doesn't have to be a deep one. If you're not feeling comfortable doing it, then just repeat the back bend, the back bend to strasana we did before. And let's slowly return and undo the arms. Very good. Sense it is straight for the arms. Let's take the left arm and right inside of you following me. Take your elbows a little bit higher, shoulders a little bit lower, and just hold it for a few extra seconds, few extra breaths here. If you're ready to dive, let's do it. Relax your neck and let it be.
Let's slowly return back, undo those arms, and we're ready for the gentle but wide hip circles. Oh, hip circles, your arm circles. Give me a couple more. And take those arms all the way on the floor. Shift the weight back, downward facing dog. We will reach the one arm across, guys, all the way across. Relax the neck and give it a few extra breaths here. If it's too much on your one arm, try to shift even more weight towards the hips or switch and just put both hands on the floor. Let's switch the sides right now. Relax the neck and continue to relax every single cell in your body. I know sometimes it's challenging. Take a breath in and a gentle breath out. Go ahead and take your one leg up. We give it a good straight up here. And we will step forward to your low lunge position. Front knee, if up the front ankle. Slowly, guys, with me, just dive into your lizard. You don't have to put your elbows on the floor. You can still stay right up here, right? Put your elbows if you can. You can also set those elbows on the blocks. Forehead on your hands for those who can reach. And try to let all the tension go from that hip on the front. Now, guys, we let the gravity do the job. Let the gravity guide you and do the job. No resistance, no resentment. Very nice. We're going to work on our quadricep today. It's a very, very sensitive stretch, but we must do it, so try to reach your foot if you can't reach. Your option will be move your knee closer, but then you would have to move it back, guys, because we are targeting the front part of your back leg. So whether it's one hand, two hands, it doesn't matter. Maybe that's your strap, but I need you to lean forward. Lean forward so you feel that quadricep really, really good. Take a deep breath. In through that nose. Out through that nose. And let's slowly return it back all the way to your downward facing dog. Now take your time. You can do it through the tabletop. We're gonna take left leg up. Give it a good straight and extension and step forward for your low lunge. Front knee, guys, above the front ankle. Release the tension on the toes on the back leg. Stay on your hands, hands on the blocks, elbows on the blocks, or fully on the ground, forehead on top on your hands. Again, whatever we can practice today, we enjoy. We're growing, we're learning, we're changing, exploring, expanding, all of those positive things. But we start to work inside, inside out process. Excellent. And let's slowly reach up for your favorite stretch of the day. Definitely my favorite, so if you need to move your foot closer. So we're working, guys, on the front muscle of the back leg on your quadricep. So I really, really need you to lean forward so you can lengthen in that quad on the back leg. Take a deep breath. That can be very sensitive, but we're not going to give up. We again, we worked so hard this week on the cardio and strings, so we really need to get that a good stretch. All right, let's return back. And we will return to the downward facing dog for the tabletop or however you can do it. Relax the neck, inhale, everything. That's it. Let's slowly walk towards the flank or put your knees on the floor, 
and we will dive into the cobra or up dog. The difference is little. You can also be on your Sphinx, on your Cobra, or a little bit higher up here when your wrist, elbows, and shoulders definitely or almost stacked one on top of another. Let's rotate through the shoulders. Make sure there is no tension in any parts of your body, especially in the neck and shoulders. And go ahead and look forward and even slightly up. Again, let the gravity do the work for you. We know that in a hurry. And we will gently release our cobra, dog or sphinx all the way on the floor. Put your forehead on top of your hands. Take a deep breath. Inhalation, exhalation, and another one. Let's slowly set our feet a little bit wider today and put your both feet together. So while we're doing that, we will also include our shoulders. So take your one arm on top of another. So you don't forget, follow me. We're going to cover our right arm with your left. And then just dive for your relaxation. Let's spend a few breaths here. Take a deep breath. And let your feet guys do melt. Find a place where you can actually let go of the tendon in the shoulders and hips. slowly change only position of the arms so we will cover our left with the right this time and again if you can't put your chin on top of your arms yet don't worry it will come just keep on practicing take a deep breath and again we're letting the tension go all the way in through that nose and out through that nose and let's slowly come back guys take it all the way up we will finalize our practice today with the gentle malasana pose and the goddess pose as well so slowly transfer your weight on your feet and I will turn around so I can see you better so malasana can be challenging feel free to put the blocks underneath your bottom so you can elevate stay on your tippy toes and put some pillows underneath your heels if your feet are not flat on the floor and support yourself of course on with your hands but if you don't need the support then take your hands up front and let's close our eyes. Take a gentle inhalation, exhalation, looking inside and within. Again, letting the gravity do the work on our hips. And let's slowly bring our knees on the floor, one knee and the other foot grounded. So if this position already barely stable, Stay right here or go ahead and try to open that knee a little bit deeper. Support yourself on the floor or take your hands up front. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. If you can find a balance with your eyes closed, that's okay. Just keep them open. All right, and let's slowly switch the direction of our seated goddess pose take your foot outside you don't have to open wide with your knees just find the balance where you can hands hands up front take a deep breath 
and just try to be. Be here, be now, be connected with your mind, body, and your true self, your special true self, unique true self. Nobody else has the same talents, the same abilities like you have. Only you can bring something special in this world. Sometimes it takes time to uncover it, but the more we self-aware, the more we connect in with ourselves, it will come. So go ahead guys and sit on your feet. Or for my intermediate and advanced, sit in your virasana. So whatever you can do. And let's slowly reach all the way up. Take a deep breath. Take a lateral bend. And again, if you need to bring your feet up front, feel free to do that. And all the way to the other side. Nice and spacious and rested. Like we just had a good quality night of sleep. Let's reach all the way up. On exhalation, draw your both hands up front of your heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's find the silent gratitude within for everything we have, for everything our body can do for us, for our health, for our talents, for our friends and family. Because we expand, we grow, we heal through the gratitude. Let's open our eyes and reach those arms up all the way one more time. Bringing them namaste, guys. Draw and invite anything you want in your life because anything is possible. Look inside your heart, find the beautiful big smile. Share that smile with others and flow through the rest of this beautiful, precious, unique and special day with unshakable love and peace inside. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me this restorative, gentle practice today. We really need it. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. How did you do? How do you feel after this week? And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure, guys, to subscribe. Help me to reach more people so together we can inspire more people for the healthier lifestyle and maybe make this world a little bit better. I will see you all tomorrow.